It's official with us. I have been talking about Goodman Acker, 1-800-TRUSTED. I think the name speaks for itself, but in studio I have my, my wonderful buddy, Mr. Jordan Acker, who is hanging out with us this morning. And it is, today is Monday, and it is Ask Your Lawyer. And we have a lot of questions. It's summertime. Yep. And we got a lot of stuff going on, Joe. We got a lot of people that have a lot of questions. And one of the things that, that I first want to ask, you know, we always stress if you go to a physician and you get uh, uh, diagnosed or something going on or someone may say this is what this is or whatever, you have a right as a as a consumer, as a patient to whatever, go get a second opinion. Yep. Does that also apply legally? If I go to an attorney and I don't really like what they're saying or how they're handling my case, if you will, yep. can I go somewhere else? Absolutely. And you should. I, I think it's okay. one of the things that people, especially if you get in a car accident, which is what our specialty is. Okay. If you get in a car accident, you're, you're probably inundated with TV ads, with radio ads, with people calling all day and night. And by the way, uh, that's actually illegal. You can't call someone who's been in a car accident for 30 Wait, days. Wait, say that again. Say that again. So if you've been in a car accident, you're you're in the hospital mm-hmm. and a lawyer shows up at your bed without you calling them, that is illegal and you should call the police. You should never be doing that. So that's like the old school ambulance chasers. It's literal ambulance chasing. It's <laughs> okay, terrible. Okay. And we're it's, not, we're not making terrible. fun of it, but they find out because we're it's public information. Right. And, right. And you're at a vulnerable, vulnerable situation Absolutely. because you've been in an accident or a motorcycle accident or automobile accident and this attorney shows up well-dressed and, and speaking very well and you see it as an opportunity like, I do need some assistance. Right. But don't get pulled into that because no. they're break- they initially breaking the law. They're initially breaking the law and who knows what they're doing on the side. Oh. And the biggest, the biggest thing, the biggest issue that we see is... Is people come to us and say, you know, Jordan, I, I, I signed up with so and so lawyer and I'm really unhappy and they've been sending me to these doctors and I don't think the doctors are very good and I'm stuck. What do I do? How do I not get myself in that situation? Um, so the biggest thing is, is when you when you meet with that lawyer for the first time, ask them who's going to be handling your case. Mm. Ask them. Uh, what relationship they have with the doctor. If they're sending you to a doctor, okay. see what relationship they have. And in a lot of these situations, some law firms in the city like to brag about how they're bigger. And bigger okay. is not always better. Okay. For a, a lot of the time, you want to make sure that the same lawyer, the same paralegal, the same partner in the law firm that handles your case at the beginning is the same person that handles it at the end. Okay. You want to make sure that th- that person knows your case inside and out and that you're not being passed through a department like a factory. Okay. You, it is really, really common in, the, in this business. And you really want to make sure that when you go in for a sign up, you ask them who's going to be doing my trial if there needs to be a trial who's going to be settling my case and i can't tell you how many people call me every single day have signed up with someone else and they're so far into the case and they realize they didn't pay attention to what was going on and they don't know who their lawyer is they say jordan can we go with you and the answer at that point is usually no because they they haven't done their their homework. Do, now, you now, always do your homework. Now, Jordan, stuff. let me interrupt you for a second. Any do, you, do you think, and, and the same thing applies, I think, sometimes when you go to a physician, yep. you feel like this person is educated, licensed, trained, certified, and all of that. So you take what they tell you to be gospel. Sure. And you have a false sense of trust because of who this individual may be instead of asking the necessary question. That's right. That's right. And you should always find out and make sure that that person's going to tell you good news and bad news. Okay. That they're going to make sure that they're honest with you. And frankly, I mean, most people say, oh, of course, you know, Coco, I'm going to definitely tell you okay. what, what okay. it is that you, that you want to hear okay. and good or bad. But you get in two, three, four weeks and you don't hear from anybody. At our firm, we make sure that you hear from somebody, okay. whether it's your paralegal, whether it's your secretary, whether it's the lawyer, you're never going to be in the dark for months and months and months. And see, I think that's a really, really, really big issue. We're going to get back to wrongful termination, but we got some people on the phone that definitely want to talk to you. Um, let's Hello? We're going to come back. Call us up, 298-1059.
Oh, my goodness. 105.9 KISS FM, Mason and Coco in the morning. And listen, we have our Ask the Lawyer in the building. We have Jordan Acker. And you know what? We we have legal questions, and sometimes we don't know who to ask or what to ask. So we took, and we are taking your phone calls, 298-1059. We got somebody on the phone right now. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing today? I'm well, sir. How are you? I'm okay. I was trying to ask the lawyer uh-huh. about driver's license. Is it true that you don't need a driver's license in Michigan? Wait, wait. What did you say? Just generally speaking, <laughs> like you don't. Is it true that you don't need a driver's license in Michigan? The in the state of Michigan. Is. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but I can tell you that ain't true, brother. <laughs> I told you that, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you. I did some research or whatever, and it's on YouTube. It's everywhere. You don't need. It's saying you do not need a driver's license. A guy's been going to court and everything and been winning cases of him not having registration, insurance, or anything on his car. So he just out here driving, just He's willy driving nilly? with no license, no insurance, no registration. He's driving with no plate and winning cases. Look it up on YouTube. No, I, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather just continue to do it my way <laughs> with my license and my registration and my proof of so, insurance. So actually, in that situation, you're breaking four different laws, it sounds like. Yes. So in Michigan, you were required to have uh, automobile insurance if you drive. You're required to have plates. And if you're driving without a driver's license, I don't want to be on the same streets as you. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like <laughs> Thank you for calling. Good morning. Hello? Hey, I got a question for that uh, lawyer guy. Yes, please. Jordan Acker. Jordan uh, Acker, yeah. yes. Yeah, Jordan. Uh, I want to know what he thinks about this whole Tom Brady and this lawsuit thing and and whether this is going to change the NFL. So uh, it's a great question. I'm going to put I'm going to put the legal spin on it. And this is an important thing. So people have been talking about Tom Brady and what's been going on with him and how he claims that his lawyer told him to destroy his cell phone. So <laughs> I'm going to put it to you this way. I'm never telling a client ever, ever, ever to destroy evidence. And if you are, if your attorney is telling you that you should be destroying evidence, it's time for you to find a new attorney. Wow. So there you have it. Don't destroy any evidence. Thank you for calling. Good morning. Good morning. I had a question. Please go attorney. right in. Go right ahead. What happens when, um, like, we had a disability case with the state, but the state ended up, the attorney, our attorney ended up working for the state? Is that, um, can they actually do that? So we had to get another attorney. So your attorney was working for himself and then went to go get a job for the for the state of Michigan? Yeah. So the situation is actually one that happens all the time. Um, usually it goes the other way. Usually people will go work for the state and then go work for, for themselves. But they are allowed to do that, and they have to let you know as soon as they know that they're going to work for the state. And at that point, it, it is upon you to find a new attorney, although any attorney worth their weight um, would would certainly uh, be able to recommend someone good for you, especially if they're going to work uh, for the state of Michigan. Okay. Oh, okay. I just wanted to be sure. Thanks yep. a lot. You're no very problem. Welcome. Thank you for calling. Now, yep. I'm sure you have questions that you may or may not want to ask on the air, but you can call them up 1 800 Trust It. 1 800 Trust It. And they're 24 7. A lot of law offices close at 5 p.m. on Friday, and you may not hear from them again until Monday morning. Not A us. lot can happen within 48 hours. 1 800 Trust It. Call them up, and you will actually you'll talk to somebody, a real person. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back because I want to ask you something myself, Jordan. I want to ask you when we Great. come back. Mason. Mason and Coco in the morning, and we are doing Ask Your Lawyer. Our favorite lawyer, Jordan Acker, is in the building. 1-800-TRUSTED with Goodman Acker. And we got some real good questions. We got some people on the phone. If you want to ask him some questions, 298-1059. We got somebody on the phone right now. Hello. Morning. How are you today? Hi. I'm great. How are you, Coco? I'm well. What's your question? Um, I was wondering, um, I had a case where... My grandmother um, was passing. I was the guardian, and Chrysler informed me on how I could actually change her life insurance to beneficiary, the beneficiary of her life insurance. But then when she passed, come to find out, they gave me the wrong information, and 
I was sued by the funeral company. I wanted I was quite liable for that. Great question. So what sounds like you need is a probate attorney. And one of the things that we do at Goodman Acker, uh, again, 1-800-TRUSTED, we work really close with a probate attorney, actually is in our office. Um, and that might be in person. You give us a call, 1-800-TRUSTED, and we can refer you to them, and they'll be able to help you with this situation. It's a really common thing, especially with life insurance beneficiaries. We'd be happy to help you with that. Okay, great. Thank you. You're very you go. welcome. Good morning. Hello, how are you? I'm well, darling. How are you? What's your question? Um, I wanted to ask a question about a wrongful termination suit. Yes, ma'am. That um, I was terminated uh, with no write-up, um, something that's not in policy and procedure. Um, Hello? Did we lose her? I think we did. Well, I think this is a great time to talk about this r- wrongful termination thing. I think we can. So let, let's talk about a couple things that you can do to protect yourself. And first, though, let's talk about a couple things that are the reality with the law in Michigan. <laughs> so the first thing is, is that unless you're a member of a union, uh, you could be terminated with or without cause for any reason as long as it's not discriminatory. Meaning you can't be terminated if you're a woman or if you're black or if you're gay. You can't. Those are reasons that you can't be terminated for. Okay. But you can be terminated for anything else. So how do you protect yourself in these kinds of situations? Mm. The best way is is that if you're if you're concerned that you might be terminated or you're concerned that there might be an issue coming up in the future, make sure that your boss does reviews of you regularly and in writing. So mm. you can go back and say okay. I don't understand why I'm getting fired here. I'm getting good reviews. I'm doing well at my job. That is the only way to protect yourself in these kinds of situations. Okay. Because unfortunately, the way it's worked is is the unions have been so weakened in this state and the laws have been so weakened in this country that you can be fired for almost any reason and people don't know that. And it's, it's a really big problem. But again, if you think that you've had this kind of situation occur and you want to be referred to an attorney who can help you, give us a call. 1-800-TRUSTED. That's 1-800-T-R-U-S-T-E-D. Love it. So I, I do have a question, um, um, you know, Jordan, and, and the time seems to go by really, really fast. But I have been hearing as of late, and it's not my first time of hearing it. Yeah. Uh, emancipated minor is, is is a minor that lives in a, maybe a awkward or threatening situation in right. the state does what to allow them to live on their own and independent. So that's a great question. This is actually something that's been in the news with that judge in Oakland County. Absolutely. That's uh, where I'm going. Yeah. It, it, it's uh, By the way, that's just an absolutely terrible, terrible it is. story. It is. It is. And it sounds like, frankly, that the judge was put in such an awful spot yes. by a yes. parent who is brainwashing the ch- the children mm. against another parent. And manipulating. It's, yeah, it's yeah, absolutely, yeah. which is a which is, by the way, just an absolutely terrible thing to do. Um, in that kind of a situation, oh, man, it is so, so tough. So a lot of these kids, you can be emancipated. I believe in Michigan, it's 16 that you can be emancipated from your parents. And again, you're asking me law school questions now. It's been a right, long right. time since we talked about know, this. I know, I know, I know. But um, there, you are, there are specific criteria that you have to have. And in those kind of situations, it's always important for the child if the child's looking to be to be emancipated, to go to an attorney and get that um, t- that part taken care of, because you know you need to show something like an ab- abuse, like okay. financial stuff. Okay. There's got to be something else going on. There. So, so in 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 the situation, um, sure, um, I'm going to use a hypothetical situation. Oh boy! If there's a child, no, and and it may be instances going on where the child has gone to the counselor at school mm-hmm. and says, you know, this is what's going on. Uh, my parent is getting. Uh, let's say an income. Let's say one of the parents is deceased and the child is receiving uh, social security or sure. whatever. Yeah. And they, the money is not being used for the child. The money is not being used for the parent. Right. So you've set up a situation with the counselor and all of those things. That child can be emancipated, but they still have to be monitored with. You know, Absolutely. And okay. The, the, and Child Protective Services does stuff like that. Absolutely. It depends on the age of the kid, too. Okay. That makes okay. a big difference. Okay. But in a lot of these situations, 
you, your first call is definitely to Child Protective Services. Okay. And that if okay. you find out about a situation, like okay. some sort of financial abuse, gotcha. or you can always contact their attorneys that, that do this kind of work. And okay. we're happy again at 1 800 Trusted, T R U S T E D. Refer to somebody who does do that for gotcha. you. Got you. So, listen, if you have any other questions, and I'm sure you will, you yourself, somebody you know, motorcycle accident, automobile accident, automobile accident, slip and fall, you've been going in and out the store and it's a sidewalk that's not right. And this particular day, the sidewalk wasn't right and it was covered with rain or snow or whatever. And you slip and fall or you're on some private property and something occurs. Don't just dismiss it. Call Goodman Acker 1-800-TRUSTED 24-7. They have an entire staff. They have a, a staff that deals with medical malpractice and then they have nurses on staff and all of those things so it deals with everything you don't have to wait till five o'clock the next day or the next week or whatever call them 24 7 one 800 trusted jordan i thank you so much for coming thank out thank you for having me again. and sharing yourself with of us and, and giving us that legal direction because we certainly do need some legal direction <laughs> nowadays thank you thank you you're welcome